What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you some more random fight action. As you see right there, I'm using Cub Swanson. And to be honest with you, in this game, I don't like using Cub Swanson. I have used him because I enjoy him in real life. So, you know, when the first game came out and, you know, once in a while I will use him. But I just don't feel like he's as good as in this game as he is in real life. And I just don't like a lot of the uh, fancy strikes, you know, he has. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of the fancy strikes that, you know, a lot of guys have in this game. But I just feel like a guy like that is hard to use for me. Like I say, I'm not really good at the game. But anyway, let's see what I can do against Uriah Faber. I feel like this might turn into a grappling match, but Faber's good on the feet too, so I could, you know. Can end up being a striking match. He touch gloves. I'm waiting for him to come forward. Move my head there. I've been trying to use my head movement a little bit more. And he has that Superman punch, man. I hate that Superman punch. He has that uh, that overhand. I don't really like that either. He connects with the straight. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. <laughs> Joey did a nice job blocking. Kinda got, I kind of got to remember what moves he has because I... Really like, I remember he has a lot of the fancy things, but I just have to remember what. Because I don't use these fancy guys that, that often. Stand right in the pocket. We're trading. I back up a little, nice little bit because Faber in this game, he has heavy hands, man. I actually like using Faber in this game. I feel the power's there. I feel his ground game's okay. Some of his uh, transitions are slow, but Faber is, you know, pretty good in this game. That's a good straight punch. I hope it comes out of this leg. It seems lately a lot of my matches are lagging, man, and I have a pretty good internet connection, man. So I don't, I don't understand that. I can see he's trying to parry. So I'm just going to pick my shots. Parry me there. Oh! That wild overhand landed. And he's rocked. And I got him on his bicycle. He's trying to parry. See if I can land that again. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. Nice jab. Forty-five. Oh, double jab. Joey commented on it earlier, and here we see once again the utilization of the jab. He sees that coming and parries it away. Nice counter jab by Swanson. I'm looking the counter here. And this guy is coming forward, so he's giving me the opportunity to counter, but I feel like I'm not taking advantage of it. I gotta move my head more. That's something I'm trying to. How do I say this? I'm trying to put into my game. I'm trying to add that to my arsenal. The head movement. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. I feel like that was pretty even round. I rocked him. I mean, I don't know. But I still feel like he got through on more strikes, so he probably won that round by a narrow margin. But that's alright. 
Ramos. Touch it up. And I'm not sure if I'll post this video because it's kind of laggy. I don't understand that. The wild overhand landed again. That switch straight. I don't mind that straight. I mean, it's kind of annoying if your opponent has it because some guys will do the jab straight, jab straight to the body, then they'll do that uh, that switch straight, and with the combo multiplier, it will mess up your day. <laughs> That's for sure. End the fight. His stamina is a little bit better than mine. I think that switch straight again, again. That switch straight is there, so I feel like if I can land it clean, it might rock him. So we watch his parries. Ooh, elbow. Oh, straight uppercut, straight landed. Can he recover? Nope. I'm surprised he didn't recover. Usually. Perfect technique. He's clearly hurt badly here. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. I went for the finish because I felt like, you know, I was going to be behind. I felt like he was landing better strikes. I mean, I was able to catch him with that. And I don't know. I just like to go for the finish, man. Any, any chance I get, man, I just want to finish the fight. It's just how I am, you know. I know some guys will let you stand up and whatever, but. I just wanted to finish it. Anyway. There's Cub Swanson. I'm going to check this guy's stats. Uh, I feel like this, this, uh, this guy was pretty good. So I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what division he was in. But yeah, we were pretty even on strikes, man. I mean, even in that second round. So yeah, I'm pulling the stats real quick. All right, here we are with the stats, and he's division seven. Wow, that's pretty impressive that I was able to get the win. I mean, even though it might have been a lucky shot, or some people might call it that, hey, I was able to hang with the Division 7 guy, which to me is pretty impressive for me because, like I said before, I am not good at this game. As you guys see in some of my fights, you know, I'm pro I am not the best, but I feel like, you know, when you fight me, it's going to be a fight. That's That's how I look at it. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and if you want, Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.